Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a laser engraver that it's super easy to use that's going to allow you to engrave and personalize a variety of objects and even start a business if that's what you'd like to do. Uh, we're talking about the Jinmitsu Z3 laser engraver. Uh, this is from SaintSmart and it's ultra portable, it's easy to use, it works using a phone. You heard that right. You can use your iPhone or Android phone to run the software that's going to allow you to engrave and you're going to create some incredible engravings. And the best part is that it's super fast. We're talking about 600 millimeters per second, which means that an engraving is going to take just minutes, not tens of minutes, but minutes, and it's going to come out great looking too. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, the Jinmitsu Z3 laser is a Galvo-based laser engraver. It's a 5-watt laser that has a top speed of 600 millimeters per second. Um, it has 0 0.05 millimeter accuracy. It's foldable. It has an autofocus feature, which is going to give you the best prints all the time, or engravings. And you can see this one that I have right here, which we're going to see a little bit closer. It also has Bluetooth 5.0 as a way to connect or USB, uh, I would say, connection option so that you can connect it to a laptop. And the engraving area is going to be, again, a little bit over three inches, three by three. And you can see by this uh, engraving that I have right here, this is uh, not the max, quite the max size, but this is pretty large to give you a sense of how much you can work with. And even as you look at this slate that we're going to take a closer look at, I was just playing with the size. This isn't the max size, but I was just doing some testing with it. So you, you have a lot of material that you're going to be able to engrave. You could do cardboard, plywood, uh, plastics that are non-transparent. You could do even cloth, like clothes, leather, uh, stone, right? This is what we're looking at here. Uh, you could also then look at stainless steel, right? Or um, if you take a look at what I have going on here, this is an actual uh, metal credit card that has also been engraved. So a lot of different options that you can use when it comes to engraving. Uh, it also works in a variety of operating systems. You can run it on Windows, you can run it on an Android phone, iOS or even a Mac. So let's take a closer look at this uh, very portable and easy to use engraver and see why you may want to consider this as your next engraver. Now this laser is ultra portable and you can put this away and it's not going to take up a lot of room. So let me open it up on the side or, or tilt it over so you can see how much space it's going to take up, right? And literally all you do is you lift this piece up, it locks into place, you lift this piece up, and then you'll notice that what you're looking for is for it to line with these uh, three lines that you see here, and you're set to go. Now the laser, we're going to bring this down for a second so you can see the connection options right here. USB-C, USB-A, and that's your power. I'm going to flip this back up again. And then what you have here is, this is going to be a dual function buttons, both of these are. Power on as well as this is going to allow you to reprint or rerun uh, a job, print a job, uh, that you're, or engrave a job in this case. This is going to allow you to move this automatically. It does auto focus and then it does manual focus. Um, over here, uh, what you see is kind of like the engraving area and this has two two sides to it. So it has this one right here and you can flip this over if you um, have other type of material uh, that you want, that requires to make sure that it stays in place because it's grippier. Um, and it will also then, if there's anything that you need to go through, like cut through, this will be able to work as well. But this goes in this area right here. Now, um, the actual laser itself is incredibly easy to use, but I will tell you this. Depending on the material that you're cutting, you want to, or engraving in this case, you'll want to make sure that you're in a highly vented area, uh, depending on the type of engraving. Because if you do engrave wood, like the one that I just did, there is going to be some smoke being cut because it is burning the material. The same thing happens with uh, slates and any other type of material. So I'm going to push this over to the side, and um, we're going to be turning this on in a second, but I want to show you some of the things that we've engraved. So first of all, uh, this is one of the engravings that we did, and I want to make sure that's in focus right there. So you can see the actual engraving, and it did a fantastic job with this. And you'll notice that it's very clean. So it doesn't have kind of like with traditional, um, I would say, uh, other type of layers, lasers like dial lasers. You basically want to have air assist so it doesn't create scorch marks. But this printed in, I think it was less than a minute. And what I loved about it is that it didn't leave any scorch marks. It's really, really nice. Uh, the other one that we did right here is this one right here. And I have two versions of it because I was testing it out. Let me show you the kind of like the final one right there. Uh, we did this um, metal credit card. We did this engraving. This took under a minute as well because it just like zoop, 
went ahead and did it. And you can see how nice that turned out. And then what we did is we tried to engrave this slate. And let's make sure we put that right there. And you can see how good that looks. So all I did with this slate, and you can see it there, is we basically, I painted it with a flat um, uh, material. So it's, it's not so much a glass lacquer, but it is a flat or matte finish. And then what I did is I engraved it. And I do this with all the engravings so that things stand out more. And you can see how nicely those letters stand out and also how clean that is. Now let's power this thing out so you can see how it works. Now, as soon as you power up this laser, you're gonna hear the fan running and you can see that the light is on here. Let me show you some of the options that you, or some of the things that you'll see in your experience. So I'm gonna tilt this over, you can see what's going on here. So you see this little dot right here. This is the laser and basically this is the focus um, area that I have right now. But what you're gonna do is anytime you're gonna use it, you're gonna to wanna to, uh, run a focus. Now, there are several accessories that you're gonna get with this. You're gonna get some glasses, you're gonna get some test sheets, you're gonna get software that you're gonna be using. And then if, for example, if you're gonna be uh, marking glass or engraving glass, uh, transparent and even plastic, you wanna be able to darken it up. So it even comes with a little marker that you can use to kind of mark it up so that you can do it. I typically spray paint um, glass or any kind of clear uh, material or I mask it with tape before I engrave so that I can get an engraving. So now let me show you some of the options that we have. So if I press this button here, notice how it goes up. If I press it again, you'll notice it goes down. If I was engraving on some material and we'll get that uh, some of the pieces that we had earlier, Let's say I'm working with, with this wood here, and I'm gonna put this here, uh, and I wanted it to auto-focus, right? All I do is tap once, short, right? And right there, what it's doing is it's auto-focusing. That's how simple it is. And what it's doing is that the laser is becoming really, really, really crisp. So it's a very, very sharp light. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll tilt it over so you can see some of that right there. So you'll notice how that beam looks like it's not coming out super focused. Let's see if we can make that even more focused. Well, it's a blue light, so it's gonna be hard to see on camera, but it basically, it's almost like a dot. It's probably, yeah, it's, it's like a dot that comes up. And you can see how it basically gets really, really concentrated. So as you're using different material, you'll wanna change it. And that's because the actual laser itself, um, the thickness of the material is gonna vary. So I'm switching over to the slate, and I'm gonna put it right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run it. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. And you notice it's going down, right? I can make it go up, but I'm gonna use the autofocus. So now I'm just gonna tap. And basically what it did there, you notice how it shifted and there was a little light that turned on? It autofocused. It's that fast to autofocus. Now let me show you how the app is gonna work here. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go out for a second so you can see all the different options you have. You could go pictures, camera, material, um, do graffiti, which is gonna be kind of like drawing. You can create a QR code, which is gonna be cool for metal things, or you could put text. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did for that graphic. You could use text, but I'm gonna show you what I did for the graphic. Now you notice once I bring that graphic in, uh, I can do cropping, I can do some modification and manipulation, I can erase things, but I prepared this for this, uh, for this purpose. I'm gonna go next. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a look at um, contrast and I can do further adjustments, but I'm not gonna do that because I think everything here is pretty good. And then here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the laser. So I'm gonna choose the laser here, which is uh, the Jujimitsu. And now what I can do is I'm gonna hit next and I can go ahead and determine the size of the laser area that I'm going to engrave. And right now it's starting at 38 by 33, but I can actually make it larger, watch. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, see how large of an area the laser is going to occupy. And I'm just gonna make sure that I double check the focus here. And you can see how the little light is getting uh, focused uh, even further, right? Everything looks good right there. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna paint a, um, a box around this to see how much of the area is gonna be engraved. And you'll notice that it's too small, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the size of the image and I'm gonna make it 60 uh, millimeters. And I'm gonna check the size now. And you notice that that's kind of like the size I made it, but that's still, in my opinion, a little bit too small. So I'm gonna make it 70. And I'm gonna run it again. And now that's bigger, but um, I actually ran it at 70 and you'll notice that it's kind of meeting kind of like the, the outside of this. So I'm gonna show you, I can go a little bit bigger. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it again. 
And now, in my experience, this is going to work because I know the actual image. It's a little bit uh, too big. It may be a little scary because it's coming out here, but it's going to be uh, a circular image. So this is where I would run this. Now, the cool thing about this is that it may, you know, the fact that it has this kind of framing technology in it, it makes it really easy for you to know where your images are going to be engraved. There's no guesswork. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the engraving, so which is the ac actual next step. So when I hit next here, I can choose the type of material that I'm working on. And you'll notice that there's no um, slate material here. So what I've been using is I've been using the stainless steel setting. So it's going to basically make sure that my laser power is at 100. It's going to make sure that my engraving speed is at 39. And then what I could do is I can engrave it multiple times if I'd like. So we're going to run some engraving so you can see how it works. All right, so now we have the actual laser engraving area sized. It's, it's to the size that I'm looking for, um, as you saw with the slate that we were kind of testing with. And I'm just going to go ahead in the app and hit the actual start button. Now, once I hit the start button, a couple things are going to happen. Uh, first of all, it's going to upload the actual uh, graphic to the, uh, to the actual laser printer, or in this case, the laser engraver. And then it will start. And you'll see it only takes a couple seconds. Now that was super fast. Now, if you do the wood piece, I just want to show you what happens with wood. Now with wood, uh, you're going to see that there's a lot of smoke that's being generated. So I would, if I'm going to be doing any kind of wood material, I would get a, a smoke eater or I would do this outside because if you're doing it in your kitchen like I did, uh, your house is going to get a little smelly. Uh, and, uh, and this is definitely something that you want to continually supervise. You want to have it in a well ventilated area and you want to supervise. Uh, Nelda wanted to see how this works because she was really excited about it. So I got permission to do it in the kitchen and that's how you see it where I'm doing it now. So guys, that wraps up our review. Super duper cool product. See you in the next video.